Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to homework 2.4. Uh, no calculators used. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to allow you to go ahead and you can use it for double checking. Um, double checking is fine, so go ahead and write double check OK. Um, I want you to try and do this without a calculator, and then at the end, once you've done everything, double check it uh, with a calculator. You can uh, watch the video, you can put a check right there. So. Um, it says, first use KCC to change each subtraction problem to an addition problem, then label the type and find the sum. So uh, over every single problem, I want to see the following. So first you're going to say, all right, KCC, keep, change, change. And then I want you to write the new addition problem. So it should be 15 uh, plus positive 2 or just plus 2. What type of problem is that? That is same signs add keep because they are both positive. And then what's 15 plus 2? It's just 17. So C, right? Uh, number three, uh, again, you're going to write KCC, negative 12 stays the same, right? You keep it, then keep, change that, and change that. So notice uh, the minus sign becomes a plus sign, the positive 10 becomes negative 10. So it's negative 12 plus negative 10. Uh, that becomes an SSAK as well, same signs because they're both negative. So you add them and keep the sign, so that equals negative 22, right? It equals 12 plus 10 is 22, but you keep the negative sign. Uh, number five, uh, keep, change, change. Again, keep the negative five exactly how it is. Change the minus sign to a addition sign, and the negative eight, change it to a positive eight. So this becomes negative five plus positive eight, or just plus eight. This is a DSSM, different signs. They are negative and positive, different signs. So I will subtract them. I will do, actually do eight minus five in my head, and I have more positives. I want you to label that positives. So your answer should be positive 3, right? 8 minus 5, positive 3, because you had more positives. So B. Uh, let's take a look at 7. Uh, 10 minus 11, K, C, C. Keep the 10, change the minus sign to a plus sign, and then change the 11, don't forget, to a negative 11. Don't just say, oh, it becomes 10 plus 11. No, you have to do something to the next number. Uh, this is 10 plus negative 11 now, so that means it's a DSSM. Um, different signs, because I have a positive and a negative, I'm going to subtract 11 minus 10, but I have more negatives this time, right? I have 11 negatives versus 10 positives. So 11 minus 10 is 1, but it's negative 1 because I have more uh, negatives. And in your head, you could just do a number line, right? If you start on positive 10 and then move back 11 spaces, you're going to end up at negative 1, right? All right, last one in this section, 13 minus negative 5. You're going to keep, change, change. So keep 13, minus sign becomes a plus sign, negative sign becomes a plus sign. So that becomes 13 plus 5, right? Plus positive, you can just put one plus sign. All right, so that is a SSAK. They are both same signs. They are both positive, so just add them. Keep the positive sign. You don't have to put a positive. Uh, 13 plus 5 is 18, so C. If I were you right now, I would pause, and I would try and do two through 10 exactly how I've done with all the labeling that I've done. All right, uh, 11 through 14, gonna be a little bit trickier because I've included three numbers, okay? So let's take a look at 11. Uh, I have only KCC with subtraction problems. So here's where I'm gonna use KCC. I'm not gonna use KCC when I see an addition problem there. So I'm going to keep, change, change. So keep the negative four plus uh, positive three. So this new problem becomes negative four plus three plus negative 4. And here's what I would do. I would say I would rewrite this problem because I got two negative 4s. So I can use the commutative property of addition, which means I can move stuff around uh, without changing the problem. So negative 4 plus negative 4 plus 3. So notice how I just bumped these two guys and flip-flopped them. All right, now, so now let's go to work. What is a negative 4 plus a negative 4? Well, that's same signs add keep because they're both negative. That is not 0, right? It's 4 plus 4. Uh, which is 8, and then you keep the negative, right? Negative 8. You can double check on your calculator if you don't believe me, right? That is not 0. Negative 4 plus a positive 4 would be 0, but negative 4 plus negative 4, that's negative 8. Uh, don't forget to drop down your positive 3. Uh, and now we just have a good old-fashioned DSSM problem uh, when we're done, right? Different signs subtract, and look, I got more negatives. I'll say N-E-G-A-T-I-V-E-S, more negatives. Um, so my answer is not 5, but it is negative 5 uh, because I had more negatives than I did positive. So 8 minus 3 is 5, but I had more negatives, so negative 5. Uh, and number 13. Um, again, I'm going to keep, change, change, right? Where I see that, that 
uh, negative, right, or minus sign, excuse me. So negative 8 plus a positive 1. So negative 8 plus 1 plus 3, right? I don't have to move anything around this time because, look, these two guys are right next to each other, so let's just go ahead and add them first. 1 plus 3, that's 4, right? So drop down negative 8. And again, I have my friend a DSSM problem. I'm going to ask myself again, do I have more negatives or more positives? I have 8 negatives versus 4 positives. Got more negatives, so therefore my answer is going to be negative. 8 minus 4 uh, is 4, but it's negative 4 because I had more negatives. Okay, again, kind of confusing stuff. Got to keep track of a lot of stuff. A lot of rules going back and forth in your head. I would pause and try and do 12 and 14. All right, on the back. Uh, first label each type of problem. Be careful changing subtraction problems uh, first by using KCC. So it's just a little bit more of what was going on on the front here. Um, I'm not going to ask you to label the problem, um, but uh, it's always helpful to do it. So KCC, keep, change, change. Rem notice how I don't just change that to 2 plus 14. It becomes 2 plus negative 14, um, which, you know, if you are apt to say, oh, that's, those are different signs. That's how I get negative 12 and not, say, like 16 or positive 12. It, they're more negative, so 14 minus 2 is 12, but since they're more negatives, I get a negative 12. Um, negative 7 plus 8. I want you to write no KCC because this is an addition problem. We only use KCC when we see subtraction. So no KCC. This is a straight up DSSM problem. I don't need to change anything about it. I just say there are different signs. So I'm actually going to subtract 8 minus 7, which is 1. And I had more positive, so that's why it's positive 1. Again, double check on your calculator if you don't believe me. 19, again, no KCC, right? Because it is an addition problem. I don't see a subtraction sign. That just says 11 plus negative 1. Again, DSSM, different signs. Subtract different signs because I got a positive and a negative. I obviously have more positives because I have 11 of them versus one negative. And so that gives me 10. Uh, 21, I am going to KCC because I see a subtraction sign. So keep, change, change. Uh, that becomes negative 6 plus negative 15. Um, I'll write that off to the side here. And yep, that's same signs add keep, right? They're both negative, so they're same signs, right? Um, so I'm going to add them and keep the sign, and that's how I get uh, negative 21. Right? 6 plus 15 is 21, but keep the negative sign. And lastly, 23, uh, a negative 3 uh, plus a negative 11. Um, because I KCC, sorry, I should have written that, um, because I did see a minus sign. Um, so that becomes negative 3 plus negative 11. That's the same signs add keep. And that gives me 3 plus 11 is 14, but keep the negative sign, so negative 14. All right, again, I would pause the video right now and try and do 16 through 24 just so you make sure you get the hang of it and watch out for addition problems right here, right? There's no KCC here. Uh, there's no KCC here. Uh, but there is going to be KCC here, right? Um, so watch out for those on those. Um, and then here on the last part, again, your calculators are good. So basically what we're going to do is we convert all of these to decimals. I'm just going to do one of them for you. That's 0.9 already. Uh, this becomes negative 2.25. Uh, that's already 3.2. Uh, this becomes point, we could just say 4.4 repeated. And this is negative 3.1. So now we just want to put them in order from least to greatest, right? Increasing order. So negative uh, 3.1 comes first. So that guy's gone. Uh, then negative 2.25, right? Or we'll write the original number, negative 9 fourths. So that guy's gone. Um, and then we got uh, 0.4444 or 4 ninths, right? The original number. So that guy's gone. And then 0.9. Because 0.444 is bigger than point, uh, sorry, is smaller than 0.9, so that's why 0.9 comes uh, next. And then lastly, uh, 3.2. All right, so you got two of those to do. Again, you can use your calculator to convert everything to decimals. All right, that's it. Call me if you have questions. Please show all work.